What's up, family? Welcome back to yet another episode of Yes Chef. As always, I'm your host, Big Chef Dro. And as you can see by the title, we're going back to New Orleans again. Don't know what it is about that New Orleans Cajun culinary that just strikes me. So today, we're going to get into the jambalaya. We're going to use shrimp, and dewey sausage, and chicken. So this is going to be very, very flavorful. And I'm going to show you my recipe on how to do a New Orleans style jambalaya. So sit back, relax, and as always, let's cook. Welcome back. This is the ingredient portion. Let's get into all of these ingredients. I know it looks like a lot, but we're going to go ahead and get through it and let you know exactly what we're doing. Now, remember, we are building flavor. We are not making some bland uh, jambalaya like you see on most YouTube's channels. We're going to add flavor. That's going to include spices. That's going to include seasoning. And that's going to include some protein and some vegetables. So let's get into it. All right. First and foremost, olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. We're going to use this to coat the Dutch oven with. I'll put that to the side. And then we have uh, one can of diced tomatoes. Uh, this is with garlic and onion. I'll put this to the side as well. And then we'll go through the seasoning and the spices. All right. Here we have um, we have oregano, basil and thyme. This is one and a half teaspoons a piece of that. Here we have one tablespoon of coriander. Right here, we have one tablespoon of Chef Paul Padon Seafood Magic Seasoning. Now, this is a little salty uh, and it is spicy as well. So one tablespoon will do. And here, just some regular um, black pepper. Uh, we do have a, a, a coarse, coarse black pepper on this. So this is one tablespoon of that. Over here, we have two tablespoons of granulated onion. We have two tablespoons of my seasoning, which, of course, if you're uh, familiar with this channel, it is simply Morton season oil and accent salt. So I have two tablespoons of that. I have two tablespoons of uh, ca uh, cayenne pepper. I have two tablespoons of of dried parsley. Uh, it's not fresh. It is dried parsley. Uh, it, it will work, you know, great with this uh, dish because it's going to cook into it. And then right here, we have three tablespoons of Tony Satchery uh, Creole seasoning. This is the non salt version. version. That's why I used uh, three tablespoons. The no salt. Now, if you can't find the no salt and you you're using this uh, seasoning, go ahead and only use one tablespoon because it is very salty and you don't want your uh, jambalaya to be too salty. OK, so this is no salt. Three tablespoons of that. If you don't if you can't find this, just use one tablespoon. Here we have three tablespoons of granulated garlic. We have three tablespoons of smoked paprika and then we have uh five of the bay leaves here five bay leaves that i'm going to put in there as well in the back here we have some hot sauce now i'm using the old bay hot sauce as you can see it's empty i used the rest of it but then i added a little bit of the cholua chipotle hot sauce as well to that and this is going to be about a quarter of a cup of that then we have our rice i'm going to do three cups of rice two in here one in here three cups of white rice and then here here is 
uh, four cups of shrimp stock, which is from the Nors. I want to say it's Nors or N Nor uh, company, and it's a shrimp bouillon. So this is about 88 cents for this whole pack. It comes with eight cubes. I use two cubes. It's one cube per uh, two cups. So I use two cubes of this very good stuff. And so let's get on to the vegetables. I have three onions uh, chopped and they are pretty, pretty big sized onions. If you see that I didn't I didn't dice them up small. Uh, I really want to taste it. Uh, next is the peppers. I have green, red and orange bell peppers on there. And then I have my uh, celery and I use three stalks of celery on here. Now, uh, for my uh, shrimp, I have the extra large shrimp. I bought two bags. Uh, each bag is about uh, 12 ounces a piece. So I have two bags of shrimp in there. Uh, this is a, almost three pounds of skinless, boneless chicken thighs. I don't like chicken breasts. I think they dry out too much. I don't care how good of a chef or a cook you are. Chicken breast dries out. So I'm going to use chicken thighs. I did trim some of the uh, fat off and I left a lot of it on there because I want it to stay succulent and juicy. I want that fat to cook right into it. And here I have two packs of the uh, Hillshire Farms, Hillshire Farms uh, and Dewey sausage. OK, so that's two packs of those. So we have all of our ingredients out of the way. We know what we are, are cooking with. I know it looks like a lot, but a lot of this is just dump and go. So I've seen a lot of videos of jambalaya and a lot of these guys, they're not adding the, these types of flavors. They're not giving you that that flavor profile that's going to uh, increase, that's going to be intricate. But right here on Yes Chef, we are making sure that everything we do is up to par now at, at, at any point if I get too big and I start being lazy and not doing things the way I should do it I want you the community the people that follow me to tell me hey man you're being a little too lazy so with that being said let's go on to the next step all right you can hear the sizzling I have a stick of butter in here with some olive oil now you use as much butter and as, and, and as much olive oil as you need. That is according to how you're cooking it, what type of pan, how much you're cooking. So I'm going to start this off with the onions. And by the way, onions, celery, bell pepper. That is the holy trinity in Creole slash Cajun cooking. OK, so. A lot of the recipes that you see coming out of New Orleans is going to consist of this holy trinity. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I got my Dutch oven hot, got my butter melted, I got my olive oil in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these onions down until they are nice and brown. And so it's going to take a minute. It's going to take some time to cook these down. Uh, what you want to do is get them in there, stir them up real good, put your lid on it and just let them cook, stirring them occasionally. You don't want them to burn. So keep an eye out as always. Keep an eye on your food. Uh, don't watch TV or be on your phone while you're trying to cook. All right. So. Uh, we're going to get these to browning. We'll come back occasionally to let you see uh, the process as it goes on. OK. All right. So the top has been on the Dutch oven for about eight minutes. So we'll go in and look at it. As you can see, it's coming along nicely. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this top off uh, for the remainder of the time. I'll let some air get into it. 
so it can start to evaporate. It has sweated nicely with the with the lid on it. So it's going to start uh, browning up very quickly uh, with the top off of it. OK. All right, family, we're back. As you can see, the onions are looking really good. So what we're going to do here. Oh, and before I forget. I did not mention the fresh minced garlic in the um, the recipe portion of the video. So I don't know how much garlic this is. I just chopped up as much as I had left in the refrigerator. I'm going to say this is a little bit over a quarter of a cup of fresh minced garlic. And so that is going to go in. And what I'm going to do is as soon as I start to smell this garlic, then I'm going to start adding in the um, Holy Trinity. So I'm starting to smell it now. And so I'll go ahead and add the peppers first. And as you can see, that goodness, you know, I love that goodness on the bottom. That's that goodness, man. And we'll get it off of there. It's all around the, the uh, Dutch oven, actually. But we'll get it off of there momentarily. So we'll go ahead and put the peppers in. Now, the bell peppers and the celery is going to create a little bit of moisture and will lift a, some, uh, a little bit of that goodness off of the bottom because of that. All right, so we got that in. So let's go ahead and put the celery in as well. Another thing I forgot was the bacon. Now, a true jambalaya has the tasso pork. I cannot find tasso pork to save my life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another element of flavor in here. And remember, once again, this is all about flavor, folks. I'm not a lazy cook. I'm not a lazy chef. I want the people that eat my food to experience just layers and layers of flavor. So any good cook that is worth their weight in gold has this in their refrigerator. What is this? This is bacon grease. Whenever I cook, whenever I cook bacon, I always keep the grease to it. And this is going to add a phenomenal layer of flavor to this jambalaya as well okay so i'm going to continue to let this saute off and get these peppers and the celery nice and sauteed and then we'll be back and and by the way folks this is the smell is absolutely amazing so we'll be right back okay all right, family, we're back. So after I added the uh, celery and the peppers, I went ahead and put the lid on it for about three to five minutes. And uh, this is what we have. This is really, really, really uh, coming together pretty good. So I'll go ahead and start adding the protein. First with the chicken. Get that in there. And this is going to cool the pot off a little bit, even though the chicken is room temperature. Still, it's going to cool this pot off a little bit. Secondly, I'll go ahead and add the andouille sausage. I'm going to put the top back on this. Again, I'm going to let this uh, cook down a little bit. Once that's done, we'll start adding uh, the seasonings and the spices. All right, family, I've been stirring occasionally for the past six or seven minutes. And this is coming together very good. Now, remember, 
that goodness on the bottom is still there. Now, occasionally you're gonna have to stir it, get it off there as much as you can. You don't want it to burn and mess up the flavor of your jambalaya. So this is where I need it to be right now. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna start adding my herbs and my spices. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna add is my basil, thyme, and oregano. Now, there is no particular way to put this in here. I'm just putting them in the way I wanna put them in. You can put them in however you like. That was my ground cumin. Here is my spices of uh, seasoned salt and accent salt, onion powder, Chef Paul Padam seafood magic. And this is thickening up with this seasoning, turning a very beautiful color. Go ahead and add that cayenne pepper to it. That's gonna give it a nice little kick along with the Creole seasoning as well. A little black pepper. Here's my Tony Satchery Creole seasoning, no salt. And my garlic, granulated garlic powder. And let's go ahead and go ahead and put the smoked paprika in there as well. Now, these seasonings are sticking to the bottom, which creates that goodness. All right, I'm just sitting here stirring this. Letting all these seasonings and herbs incorporate. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these tomatoes off in here. Drop the parsley off in there, along with the hot sauce. This is gonna be a nice spicy dish. So once I put that rice in, it'll kind of calm everything down along with that uh, shrimp bouillon stock. Look at that. That is beautiful. Some of that goodness is being released off the bottom as well. As you can see, look at that. That goodness is coming up off of there. You see that? Oh man, that is what you want. Yeah, some right there, but we'll get that. We'll get that as well. All right, so um, since I have three cups of rice, I went ahead and put um, the rice in a bowl because I needed the other Pyrex to make a little bit more of the stock so let's go ahead and put these three cups of rice off in there give it a nice stir make sure you get it off in there make sure you stir it in there really good and so I want you to understand that when you're making something like this, especially in a Dutch oven, and I've made this in regular pots before as well, but when you're doing this in a Dutch oven, this Dutch oven is gonna hold that heat really good. So there is a chance that you're gonna get some browning on the bottom, okay? So to help alleviate that, you want to kind of keep stirring, letting the rice kind of cook off a little bit so it doesn't need too much time uh, to finish off. And because the more it stays in here on this, on this fire, it's going to burn the bottom. So let it cook off a little bit, you know, give it a minute or two, stirring it around, letting it cook off a little bit into the jambalaya before you before you add the stock okay because you don't want it really sitting in here too long because the longer it sits 
the more it scorched. If you get some browning on the bottom, it's not a big deal. It's, I mean, it's a part of it. You don't want to burn it, you know, but you're going to, you're going to probably get some browning on the bottom. You know, it just depends on how much browning you get according to how you prep yourself at this stage. Okay. So, you know, that's about good for me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the four cups. Uh, if it's enough, then I won't use the other two cups. But I'm going to add these four cups to it. And then I'm going to give it a stir. And that's going to release some of that goodness on the bottom as well. And you can kind of feel where you need to kind of scrape the bottom get some of that goodness off the bottom of it because you don't want to leave that on there and then it starts to burn real quick because you want all of this all right now uh for me i feel i'm going to need a little bit more a little bit more of this uh stock so i'm going to go ahead and just pour the rest of that in there so that's uh, six cups of the shrimp stock and usually you want to do two cups of water to one cup of rice anyway uh, but I just want to kind of release that bottom and the bottom is smooth I'm scraping the bottom I don't feel anything on the bottom you got to have that feel as a cook okay now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. I'm gonna go ahead and add these bay leaves right now to it. I'll just go ahead and just add these now because I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and I want those bay leaves to get off in there and cook in there. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up and I'm gonna bring this to a boil, okay? And then when it comes to a boil, probably take about five minutes. When it comes to a boil, then I'll reduce it and uh, so that we can finish the cooking process, okay? Right, so I'm hearing the boil going on. Not a big boil, just a little boil so that I can get it down to medium. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir it again, scraping the bottom. And be careful, cause this is popping and it's really, really hot. So I'm scraping the bottom again, getting some of that goodness off the bottom because I'm gonna turn it down to a nice low. I mean, you wanna put this on low. You don't want this um, burning on the bottom. So put it down to a really good low. So as you can see, I'm scraping that off the bottom, making sure nothing is stuck down there so I can go ahead and finish cooking this. And again, this is this is some patience, folks. You got to have patience. Feel that bottom. I don't feel anything left on that bottom. My 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 uh, spoon came out clean. I'll go around one more time. The spoon came out clean again. So everything is off the bottom. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and introduce these shrimps to it. All right. So this is going to cool it down just a little bit just a little bit not a lot cool it down just a little bit okay get those in there really good now you want to cover it it's on low scrape the bottom one more time just to make sure you always want to be sure that you're doing the right things when cooking come up again Spoon is clean once more. So there's nothing stuck on the bottom. I got some shrimp still in here. I didn't even see. Let me put those bad boys in there. Yeah. All right. So I'll go ahead and cover this. Let me let me let me get a little taste test before I do. Let me get a little taste test. Yeah, y'all give me a second. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Mm. Oh man, folks, this is 
Ooh, that's a kick to that one. Now that is a nice kick. All right, so keep it on low. Let it cook for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I'll be back to let you know what it's looking like. All right, fam, we're back. The jambalaya is almost ready. As you can see. Now, so I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to let it sit for about another 10 or 20 minutes while it continues to soak up. Now, I got some, again, I got some browning on the bottom, a little stickiness, but that's expected, folks. It's expected. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to just stir this all up. Turn this off. And I'm just going to let this sit with the top on there for about 10 to 15 minutes. And this is this is absolutely delicious. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Got your sausage, your, and, your, your andouille sausage, you got your shrimp, got your, your chicken thighs along with your holy trinity, all your spices, all your herbs. So we'll be right back for the taste testing. Well, here we go. So how about that? Look at that. That is just beautiful. So I'm gonna go in with this family. I got some uh, some shrimp, some chicken, and some sh and some uh, sausage on here. Man, I almost don't want to eat it. It looks so good. Mmm. Mm. I perfected this. The peppers and the celery still has a little bite to it. That's perfection. Strong kick. But again, if you don't want it this spicy, just hold back on some of the uh, Creole seasoning, some of this hot sauce, and make it how you want it. I want to do it as close to the Cajun style as possible. I'm going to go in for a second bite for y'all. Mm -hmm. Folks, I did it again. So, as always, if you like the content that you just seen, go ahead and hit the like button for me. And if you're interested in our videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to smash the notification button because that's going to keep you up to date to all of the videos that we put out on this channel. And don't forget, we're going to continue bringing the flavor. We're going to continue making things for you that is going to amaze you, but yet it's going to be very simple. So until the next time, until the next video, as always, folks, peace.